delighted to formally introduce Roy Hodgson as the New England manager. Thank you. Today concludes a process that began the day after Fabio Capello's resignation. Our objectives in reaching this point were clear. To arrive at a position where we had one chosen candidate and could therefore make a single approach. I can confirm that we only approach one club. Secondly, to do this professionally, discreetly, and to a timetable that we believe to be appropriate in all the circumstances. We always said we would finalise this at the back end of the season. And thirdly, to appoint, if possible, an English manager if we believed that person was the strongest candidate. And we believe that we have delivered on all these counts. To reiterate, really, that um, the decision uh, was very much uh, we wanted to get to one person, one appointment, and uh, I'm really pleased that that gentleman is sitting next to us. Um, and that, I think, really gives him a good platform to really know that uh, everyone is behind him and there's nothing in the next few days, next few weeks that's going to come out and suggest that there was anything other than our first choice um, here today. I suppose it's a very proud day for me. I'm a very happy man to have been offered the chance of managing my country. I'm uh, looking forward enormously to the task ahead. Everyone knows it's not an easy one. But I'm also hoping that everybody, fans, supporters, everybody within the country will get behind the team because it's the team that counts. And it's the team which will win us matches. And what I would do is I'll do my very best to make sure the team is as well prepared as possible for the task that lie ahead. So I'm grateful for the chance to be the manager of England and I'm really looking forward to it. Hopefully, I've got a lot of time on my hands to, to think about it and to, to make the decisions that are necessary. Obviously, I've been working in the country now for the last five years, so all of the players are, are pretty well known to me, even though I haven't worked with that many of them. And it's going to be very important after this press conference to get straight down to the task, really, of making certain that when the time comes to announce the squad, which we are likely to put back, as a matter of fact, until after the last game of the season, that I've done as much research as I can and spoken to as many players as I possibly can. I'm extremely happy. I think it's been handled uh, very professionally. I think uh, compared to some of the issues we've had in the past with these appointments, I'm uh, very pleased indeed. I think we've, we've handled it professionally, confidentially. We always say we want to make the appointment around, around now. We've stuck to our, to our timing. Um, it's interesting that when we approached West Bromwich Albion, which was last week, they had uh, two, condi sort of two conditions. The first is we didn't talk to Roy until after the Aston Villa match. And the second, he was allowed to manage for the last two matches, which in a way emphasises the, the, I think, the benefits of going, coming quite late into this. You know, if we'd gone a month earlier, I, I, you know, I suspect we'd have had a more difficult conversation. So uh, I'm very happy with the, with the um, way we've handled it. I think it's been very professional. I think you know, we've always got to go into tournaments to win them because you know, we're a major football nation. Uh, it's never going to be easy and it's going to be a little bit more difficult on this occasion because the man who qualified the team has, has left the team and I've come in to take over at a fairly late stage. But I certainly think that the players would be very disappointed if we expected anything less of them than an attempt to win the tournament. And it's very, very important, as I said earlier on, that everybody really gets behind the team and gets behind the players because at the end it's going to be them that will make us happy at the end of the day if we can you know, produce a winning team. It's always a big job to win people over and it's important first of all to have the chance and the only way you're going to win people over is by doing the job that I, I know and feel confident I can do. The first thing of course with the players, it's very important that the players uh, buy into the things I'm going to be hoping to, to persuade them to do and to, to make us a better team but it's also very, very important that the whole of the country buys into what we're doing because you know, the England football team is such an important part of our heritage and our culture. So I'm expecting uh, a lot of support from everybody and hopefully we'll do my best to get it. Every coach has got to win over players. There's no question of that. That's part of your job. It won't be the first time I've stepped into a job where I'm meeting a group of players, many of whom I don't know, and my job is to win them over. I'd like to think that given my CV, given the work I've done over the years, I've succeeded fairly well with that. I don't have any any problems with it, but I think every coach's job, when he enters a new job, is to win the players over, to make certain he gets the players on his side, and to make certain that the players are you know, united, if you like, behind the cause. And our cause is a very important one, a very big one, with England. You know, it's the England football team. It, uh, 
it interests an awful lot of people. So I have a lot of responsibility, but then so do the players. What I took into consideration before accepting the job was what you've heard the chairman and Sir Trevor say, that they have gone through a very due process of trying to find the person that they think is the right man for the job. They convinced me yesterday that their choice was, was myself and they wanted me to take it on. So basically, I'm now expecting everyone in England to support their English football team and hoping they'll get behind both the team and myself because all we can do is to do the best we can in the coming Euros and ahead to give England the type of successful football team we've been really hoping for since 1966.